In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate our building in the 3D viewer. So in order to do this, we need to make sure that when we preview our building, that we have sharing enabled. So you just need to click on the share menu and you can either copy the link and paste it or you can open the link. When you do, you'll get your end product here and then you can get directions. So you'll notice here that my building has a lot of different rooms named. Um, a lot of the points are named, uh, washrooms, uh, the entrances, etc. So in order to enable navigation, you need to go into the editor and you need to make sure that all of your relevant rooms, uh, points, etc. are named. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to navigate to them. So this is covered in another video, um, so I won't cover it here. But it is also important to note that if you have a multi-floor venue, like for example mine is, so I have four different floors here, um, you need to make sure that you add the appropriate connections so that you can actually navigate to those floors. So you can see here I have stairways in all four corners. I've got an elevator here. And when you set up your connections, you need to make sure that they span the appropriate amount of floors so that you can actually get directions between levels. Um, it's explained more in another video, so I won't go into it here. Okay. And then so once we are in our venue, we can start getting directions. So I'm just going to start from scratch here. Let's say that I want to go to the cafeteria. I just click cafeteria. Uh, locations that only have a name, you just need to click the directions button up here near the search bar, and then it will navigate you from the nearest entrance. Um, other locations will have cards, for example, the study area I've added extra information to. So you can see there's a card here with a nice photo and information, and I would just click directions from that card. Uh, we have multiple ways that we can navigate to our destination. So by default, it's choosing the nearest entrance that leads to the outdoors. In this case, it's the main entrance. But we can also choose an existing location. So we can choose selection. And for example, let's say we want to go from the staff room. We can just type in staff. And again, this is a, a room that I've named in the editor, and it's, uh, it's navigating from the staff room now. We can also select to drop pin, and we can really just put it wherever we want to on the map. So let's say, for example, we want to navigate from the computer lab. We can drop it on the computer lab, and it'll navigate us to the study area. We can also drop it uh, just outside the building, and it'll navigate us from the outdoors to the study area. So that's nav navigation on the same floor, but let's say, for example, we want to navigate to something on the second floor. I'm going to choose level two. And we've got this common area here. Let's say I want to meet my friend in the common area for lunch. All I need to do is click on common area, and then I'm going to click directions. Again, it's going to take me from the nearest entrance. Uh, in this building, it's the main entrance. And you'll see it takes me here to the nearest connection. In this case, it's an elevator. And all I need to do is click the up arrow. And that's going to take me to level two, where we can see the common area. If we want to get back downstairs, we just click the same arrow. And we're back where we started. You can also use the same um, methods as before to navigate. So for example, if I want to navigate from the staff room, I can choose selection. Again, type in staff. And it will navigate me the same way. We can also use drop pin, like I mentioned before. So we'll go from the computer lab using this method. And I'm going to click the arrow to go upstairs. And I can very easily get to the common area. So that's everything you need to know about navigation in your 3D map.